Last week we said a sad goodbye to Magda and this week we say hi Adrian, our good South African friend who flew in from the Netherlands. You're out of time. I guess no one should play. Nobody crossed. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. After picking him up from St. Vincent, we headed straight down to Bekwa. And you can see he got right into the sailing mode. Maybe we got too high. Our guest here on Sisu, he thinks he's on holiday. <laughs> but guess what? <laughs> I can't wait to leave to go on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> So our anchor, the windlass, decided to, decided to go down and not up. And you know, that anchor is quite heavy. So we need to have a method of bringing it back. So this thing broke and Adrian discovered the whole reason behind it. And hopefully it's now fixed. And the only the solution is to remove this little thingy. John, we then found everything will work. We Just found like some that. extra solder, if you need solder inside this thing. <laughs> so, lots of extra solder. And obviously, yeah. if that gets in between the moving parts, then things start yeah. working. Let's just call it differently. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you come to Sisu, it's not a holiday. Oh, bring your tools. <laughs> wow! Let there be light. <laughs> must be Adrian around. <laughs> Adrian, my shining star. <laughs> it was shining sun at this moment, or moon, or... So, let's test this baby. We couldn't anchor, we were trying to anchor and then just nothing wanted to work, so... And we thought it's cables, we thought it is the controller box. We found a lot of corroded stuff. <laughs> Which was maybe just as well, eh? Yeah, actually a lot of other things that could have, could have become a potential problem eventually was solved before it became a problem, so I yeah. think that's a, it's a, a good day. So you can at least see what you're doing, you're halfway there. <laughs> yeah, and you know when you get old you need glasses as well, so... Yes, you're lucky you're not old yet then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the battery's positive. And we did switch the dead man switch off. The circuit breaker for the windlass is off. So we're good. Shouldn't I go and get the fire extinguisher or something? <laughs> I'm going to switch on the switch and you just look for sparks and fire and smoke and no fire. <laughs> yeah. That was then happiness. Let's test this baby. <coughs> up, he doesn't want to go up. Oi. Whoa, it's working. Up and down. Up and down. Wasn't there a song like that? Sasha up and Sasha down. Take the lady on the right. This is a child, this is a child friendly <laughs> channel, eh? Is it? How <laughs> about this barn dancing or lion dancing? We're, we're almost America, you know? And what would boys be without their toys? The minute we landed in Bekwa, Adrian just had to try the e foil. <laughs> Pietro, Pietro and Adrian decided to walk there. It's a, it's a pretty nice, beautiful walkway. But they obviously didn't hear about that invention in 1895. 1895. The internal combustion engine. So I'm going to use the internal combustion engine technology to move me a little bit forward and 
I'll meet them there. But it is a nice walkway. I just need to make sure my technology don't eat the rocks. <laughs> it will be disastrous. Sparrows. The local rum sparrows, very good. If you have enough of that, you will get properly drunk. Which is often, I guess, the goal. That's how you become a pirate. Are we going to have pizzas? And want the green stuff. Are we going to have pizzas or where are we going? The only green stuff I like comes in a bottle. <laughs> Beer. Beer is not green. <laughs> a green bottle. <laughs> you see, Pietro? I can do green stuff. Look. This is green stuff. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. I like green stuff. Don't tell anyone that I don't like green stuff. So the next morning after dropping the mooring ball, we headed for Tobago Keys. We're getting pros at this, this mooring ball thing. <laughs> <laughs> Camera. Let's try a new camera, a new wearing ball as well. <laughs> we'll be no harker by, think our civil lives. So that, not that one, that boat came in. Pretty, pretty boat. But the little island that we had all for ourselves is now just full of people. I don't know if you guys can remember the last time when we left Grenada, we bumped into this boat, the Royal Clipper. She was officially recognized by the Guinness World Records in 2002 as the world's largest square rigger still in service. 42 sails, 5 masts, and 130 meters long and a 60 meter beam. She's got 106 crew serving 227 guests. And there's even three swimming pools on board. So fast let us go. In a little later, these two huge catamarans pulled in. We've seen them before. They always raft up together. It was more St. Vincent area up there. And when we bumped into them later on on shore, we discovered they're from New Zealand and they actually charter these two boats out. The owner skippers the one and he has a skipper on the other one and they only cater for young crowds. So it's this one big mass of floating party boats. And then it was a quick little dinghy trip next door to Jamesby Island and that was quite treacherous to get through there with a dinghy. Those rocks are massive under there. We just beached the pigs and we've got a Danforth anchor here. And look at this, palm trees, white sand, and a pretty lady. <laughs> look at that! I thought we were coming to a beach, but with Senor Olivier, you never know. You go to a beach and then you have to climb a mountain. And he will always make sure he's got flip-flops and mountaineering gear 
and I'm here bare feet. It's just unfair. Anyway, it's a beautiful island. We're gonna climb to the top and see if there is something beautiful to see from the top. I'm trying to record and trying not to cut my foot on some exotic thorn. But it's not too We just got Sisus over there. So we just tie Tapex to a tree over there. And later on, we're going to have some lobsters over there. And yeah, so this is the Tobago Keys. We're going on a hike. Apparently, this is not a hike. We're going this way to the hike. Ah, looks like he has a road. And apparently, here is iguanas. We hope to see at least one. We're going through here. Oh, look at this. Yeah, the sea. We are back at the sea. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Both palm look trees. Look at the people right on this plant. Oh, yeah, look at this. Sure. Rusty. Hmm. Gay Jamie. <laughs> I'm doing a drone shot. The cameraman. Yo, 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 ouch, ouch, ouch. I think. Me think. We reached the summit and it's worth it. Just check this out. We can see the whole of the Caribbean. And of course, the guys that's used to hiking still coming. Where are they? Oh, they, they there she is. The lady that always wants to go on a hike and always want to. Need to be prepared with my shoes. Not with I told clothes. you we're going to climb a hill, a mountain. We came for lobster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the lobster is only at seven. So we want to see this. Apparently there's lobsters here somewhere, so let's see if we can find them. Mm. This is where our dinner is being cooked. Yeah. What is your name, madame? Yeah. Beth. Yeah. Beth is making us delicious lobster. How long have you been doing this, Beth? Oh, what, 10 years? Over 20 years? Yeah, 10. Over 10 years. Yeah, okay. I wanted to say you're very young. What are you supposed to eat? Uh, we said 6.37, but we might do it earlier. What's oh, the yeah. time now? Your phone? I'm going to go through my bed. 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 I'm going to go through my b
And here we have some food. Show them all. Mm. So Bate reckons this is better than this is better than McDonald's. Yes. For sure better. For sure. What do you think, Free Willy? Yes, the best. It's better than oh, McDonald's. Yes. Oh, yes. It's better than a, than a cheeseburger with oh, some fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better. It's been much awesome. Better. Thank you very much. And Thank I'm looking, I'm looking forward after for you to tell me how it is. Okay, I'll compare it. I'll give you a, out of five stars. I'll oh. give you a rating. <laughs>